This video might be a little bit more serious, but I want to talk about this with you guys. I try to bring the news to you guys. I try to give you guys as much information as I can that's important information that you guys should know about regarding Fortnite. There was some big news that dropped yesterday, and I was going to make a video yesterday, but I really needed to just clear my head and just go into this as easily as I possibly can. So Fortnite put out a tweet 19 hours ago from the time I'm recording this audio, and they said, hey, Fortnite community, recent events are a heavy reminder of ongoing injustice justices in society, from the denial of basic human rights to the impact of racism both overt and subtle against people of color. We're acutely aware of the pain our friends, families, team members, players, and communities are experiencing. We believe in equality and justice and diversity and inclusion and that these fundamentals are above politics. The team is eager to move Fortnite forward, but we need to balance the Season 3 launch with time for the team to focus on themselves, their families, and their communities. The live event, The Device, will be delayed again to Monday, June 15th, and the Season 3 launch delayed to Wednesday, June 17th. We know this delay comes on the heels of another one, but we appreciate your patience and understanding during these difficult times. The community really did not like this whatsoever. I can't even look at the comments that were left under Donald Mustard's tweets, under Fortnite's tweets, even Fortnite's Instagram was terrible. I can't begin to tell you how disappointed I am in the Fortnite community on this decision. Yeah, I am annoyed that we are getting another delay for this next season and for the event. We've been really hyped up for this event and the next season. But you gotta understand, there is more important things to life than just video games. I think the most counter argument I've heard regarding this whole thing because of the whole Black Lives Matter movement is that, well, that doesn't really affect video games. So why are video games being affected by this? It really comes down to the fact that any sort of celebration or any sort of hype or excitement for a new update or new video game takes away from the movement. People need to know about the movement because I'm definitely not going to go into politics because I honestly don't even care about politics, but I'm telling you what this is about is about equality. I want people to be equal and I don't want horrible things to happen to people just because of the color of their skin. I think it's ridiculous. And the entire United States really needs a step up with this because they really need to realize that this is not okay. And this has been going on for so long. And because of the death of George Floyd, now we're starting to get our voices heard with this. And I think that's a great thing. Another thing you have to kind of realize as well is that this is going to be written in the history books. Like everything that's going on in the world right now is going to be written in history books forever. I understand why they delayed it. They want everyone to focus mostly on this movement because it's equal rights for everybody. It's not political, it's about having equal rights. And I think that's a good thing. We should have had this forever ago, but the US has been really slow with that, especially with like the police enforcing different things just because again, people of different color get treated different. They're scared when they get pulled over because cops usually treat people of color differently than white people, which isn't everywhere, mind you, but it does happen and it continues to happen. And we just want that to stop. So I totally understand the movement. And I feel like people need to take this a little bit more seriously. I'm seeing so many people saying, oh, it's just an excuse. Oh, how dare they bring politics into Fortnite? I don't think this is really much into politics. I think the most politics about this is just about how it's being dealt with with this whole movement. All I want to say is that I just want people to be patient. Does it suck that the season got delayed again? Yes. I want the new season just as bad as you guys. Trust me, content for me would be a lot better if the season came out when it was going to come out. But I have to deal with the delay. Everyone has to deal with the delay. The other issue I hear about this is that, well, people from Europe and all over the world that don't have this issue are being affected by that. And I totally understand that that is just an unfortunate thing. But here in the U.S., there is a huge issue going on. And we need as many eyes on this as possible. And a game update, a new season is going to take away from that. And I honestly applaud Fortnite for doing this. But I just want everyone to take a deep breath and we'll be okay. The next update will be out on the 17th. That's just going to be how it is. And the new event will be on the 15th. Now, my only question here is, can we please get supercharged XP for the remainder of this season. I think that would calm a few jets down. I might actually be able to obtain full golden Peely by the end of the season because of all the extensions. So that is some good news. You got to try to look at the bright side of everything. I really wish people would start doing that and not always focusing on the negative because that's all I see on social media is people always focusing on the negatives of every little thing. And I really wish that would stop, honestly. 
So the good news with this extension is that you have more time to get the golden edit styles that you wanted. But again, I would really like it if they just flip the switch on to turn on supercharged XP for the remainder of the season. It would help out so many people. I don't understand why they haven't done it yet from the first delay. It would be great if they could do it now.